Okay, imagine this. You're getting up in the morning, you're feeling good, you're having a good day, having a good start, you're eating healthy, you may be going for a run or not. Maybe you're just on the couch eating ice cream or whatever, but you're feeling good, right? So you decide on having a training session that day because you feel so good. So you go to pool table, you look at all the drills and you're like, okay, you're ready for this one. This is a tough drill, but today you are ready for it. About 10 minutes into the drill, you are more like, no, Ugh. damn it. This drill has the potential to suck the confidence right out of you <laughs> within a few minutes. This is seriously one of the most toughest drills I've ever played. And to be honest, I have not successfully finished this drill and I don't know who has, to be honest. The setup is pretty easy. The cue ball is always frozen to the rail um, and on each diamond. I've seen this drill also with the cue ball always being like also being in the pocket. So that would add six more balls to the drill. Great, because it's not tough enough yet. <laughs> um, I haven't done this. I'm only playing the frozen rail shots. So it's up to you. Choose wisely. I love these hoodies. I think they're extremely comfy. So if you're interested, just check my links. Uh, my brother Alvin actually showed me this drill and he said it's called around the world. So basically you go around the table with your cue ball. I think it's a fantastic drill for uh, your potting skills. But honestly, I would suggest playing each ball a couple of more times, like to really drill it until you move on to the next one. Uh, yes, you can challenge yourself by playing it around the table once that you, you know, only play each ball one time. But I think for training purposes, it makes more sense to really drill one ball 10, 15 times and then move on to the next one. Just my tip. Impossible potting drill. Let's try it. All right, so let's start this drill. You can see this is the ball I chose to start with. It's totally up to you with which ball you start. Then you go from one ball to the next. The cue ball is always frozen to the rail. When it comes to the final score, it's totally up to you what you want to do. You can either write down the amount of shots that you needed. For example, in this challenge, you have 18 shots to play. So of course, if you only need 18, that would be perfect. So you can, for example, write down that you needed 25 or 30 shots for these 18 balls. That's one way to do it. Or for example, you write down how many balls you actually missed. So out of 18, maybe you've missed eight or nine or 10 or three or whatever. So it's totally up to you how you write down your final score. Sometimes I don't even know where I hit it because it was so far off, no idea. Let's try again.
This one is actually really uncomfortable because of the pocket here. It's really hard to hold. So I, honestly, I don't want to roll this ball. I, I actually want to smash it. I want to stun it. Um, I know sometimes beginners, amateurs, they think it makes it more difficult, but to be honest, to play this with a stun and with power feels more natural to me than just roll it. Maybe it's just because I like that type of shot more. But uh, yeah, let's smash this one. Playing it that way and you hit it right feels so good. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that this is an absolute high class pro player drill. <laughs> and even for us, it seems pretty much impossible. But if you're not a good enough player yet, you can still change um, the level of this skill. So whenever you play this drill, just change the position of the cue ball. So instead, the cue ball being frozen to the rail, you just go one diamond uh, to the inside of the table, like closer to the 10 ball. You do the same here from the long rail, you just go one diamond in, you can go here one diamond or you can even go two or three or four diamonds in and just change the distance, okay? So just change the distance according to your level. All right. I forgot what I wanted to say now. Well, it doesn't matter. That's it with this video. Um, have fun practicing or playing this drill. Have fun being frustrated. And don't forget, you're probably not alone with it. So I'll talk to you soon.